Eugenia Karlampieva and her research team can make balls and cubes, very tiny balls and cubes, so small that you would need 12,700 of them lined up to make an inch. But that's not all Karlampieva and her research team can do. She can make those balls and cubes rigid or elastic so that they are either solid or squishy. Karlampieva and her research team want these tiny balls or cubes to carry anti-cancer drugs to a tumor where they can kill it. But once injected into a vein, these microparticles face three hurdles on their journey. First, they need to avoid being swallowed by healthy macrophages, the immune cells that act as lookouts and first defenders against foreign pathogens entering the body. Second, to reach the cancer cells, they have to leave the bloodstream, squeezing out through the tiny openings, much like little windows, that line the insides of unhealthy blood vessels. Third, they have to get swallowed by cancer cells so the balls or cubes can deliver their anti-cancer drugs. Thinking about these hurdles, Karlampieva and her team wondered if differences in the shapes or rigidity of the microparticles could affect their ability to avoid macrophages and get to the cancer cells. For each hurdle, they found clear winners. In the macrophage test, the winners were both of the squishy shapes, balls and cubes. Compared to the solid shapes, they avoid being engulfed by macrophages. This is good. It means the squishy carrier should be able to remain in the blood for a longer time. It also means that the macrophages will not be mistakenly killed. In the test of squeezing through the small openings like those of the pathogenic blood vessels, the winners again were both of the squishy shapes. They can scrunch themselves through the holes that are smaller than their width, but they revert to their correct shapes on the other side. In the test of being taken up by breast cancer cells, Karlampieva found that the shape, not the hardness or squishiness, was key. The winners in this test were both of the cubes, whether solid or squishy. The flat sides appear to give better contact with the cancer cells, leading to more engulfment. Thus, the overall prize, drum roll please, goes to the squishy cube. Carl Ampieva and her research team found these relative differences in in vitro experiments. Now she and her colleagues at the Houston Methodist Research Institute will begin to test biological significance of the particles. They will look at how changes in shapes and squishiness affect the fates and destinations of these polymer microparticles in the bloodstream of mice. Stay tuned.